guys, thank you so much again for watching another video. Um, today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite and not so favorite lip balms or lip treatments. And I'm just going to get started because this video, I have filmed it and it is really long. So, a couple of my um, favorites that I will share are Chanel and YSL. Now these are really not labeled as uh, lip treatments or balms, but um, I use these because they are so moisturizing. Uh, and I know Chanel has one that is actually for um, uh, lip balm, but I really like it. And this is just the Coco Shine, and it's 56. It's really uh, sheer. And then this is one of my favorites. This is the YSL. I couldn't even tell you that it, the names rub off on these, but it's really pretty. It's the pink one. And this is just a really nice color for your lips. And I do feel like those do moisturize. Um, another one is from MAC. And I know these are really difficult, but I wanted to share them. It's the lip balm, and this is the um, Tender Tone in Peering, and it's just like that. Beautiful, especially now with um, summer. These smell really good. They give you really nice gloss to the lips, as well as they moisturize. And I'm um, not sure, maybe you can Google them and um, Amazon, a CCO or something. Another MAC product are the lip conditioners, and this is the one in the pot, but they also carry these, and this one was a limited edition again, but you can um, find these everywhere. It's white, so it's kind of hard for the camera to see it. Um, this is a Ricky Martin one, and if I was to choose between these two, I would definitely choose this one. I don't really like this. Um, I know people do, but I'm not a big fan of it. I do like the um, lip conditioner more in these jars than I do in the tube. Um, one of my fails is the EOS. I know these are so, so cute. And this is the Disney one. So you can't really see that but anyway um it's the packaging is really nice I am really having difficulty here um the packaging is really nice and super cute and that's all I like about it I don't think that these moisturize I don't think um that they really do anything other than look pretty <laughs> um a drugstore that I do like are the Nivea's and these are really inexpensive they have them in the tube or again they have them in a container which I actually prefer and really like it this is just white and it is the um, vanilla and macadamia kiss lip butters and then this is just the olive oil and lemon and it's green it doesn't show up like that obviously it's clear but this one smells so so good and I really love these and like I said, really inexpensive. Another drugstore product is the Vaseline Lip Therapy, and I would definitely recommend this. This is one of those that um, it is thicker in consistency, and it does work more as a lip therapy than just like a routine lip balm and stuff. So, But these work really nice, and I like the cute little packaging. One of my favorite drugstores are the Carmax, and specifically this one, which is the Lime one. These smell so good, and they moisturize your lips. I've had really cracked lips during the winter, and these work really nice for me. So definitely recommend that one. Um, a fail for me from the drugstore are the Baby Lips. I don't like these. I don't think that they moisturize they smell really nice and they're cute. Um, the packaging is really nice, but again, I don't think that these moisturize at all for me. Okay, let's go with these here. Um, this one is Kiehl's Lip Balm and it's in mint. And this is alright, it's nice. Um, I would recommend it. I think that 
Honestly, there's other products. I know a lot of people really do like them. I just don't really see the hype with these. So um, the mint one I like because I really love mint, peppermint, anything like that. So, um, But this one I do actually really like. And it is from first aid. And it's so funny because so many people now are into the first aid and I think you're hearing more about it. And when I worked at Sephora, um, it was brand new and I picked up some of their stuff. So, but this is a nice one. It's the lip therapy and I love the applicator. If you can see, it's just like that. And it smells so good. And this does work. It moisturizes and I would definitely recommend this. I would recommend this um, opposed to the Kiehl's one. So, and these I get at Sephora. Okay, this was a huge, few years ago, um, a huge hype here on YouTube. And although I liked it, I have found other items that I like better. It is a lip butter from Corez. And obviously this is the most popular one, the Jasmine. They smell really nice. They do kind of moisturize I'd say but again there's other products out there that are a lot better um, some other ones from Sephora that you can find are these from fresh I love this product um, in general just fresh makes such great products but the sugar one is my favorite and th these are the ones that you get in like a set during the holidays and I have them all that's why they're teeny tiny, but I have used several of the um, full-size tubes of these, and I can't even tell you how many I've gone through. And then the latest one that they came out with, the lip treatment, is in the gloss, which I really like. And you can tell because I am more than halfway done with this. So these are really nice, and they have them in so many different um, colors and finishes. And then this is a really nice one. Once I am done with this, it's the Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. I will definitely repurchase this in the full tube. And these will always just be a staple in my collection. Really um, nice. And I like the packaging as well as the uh, formulation on those. And those again are at Sephora. Okay, um, another product. I really like this. I'm getting a little more into... Um, higher end and this is the Marc Jacobs the makeout lip lock and this has an SPF of 18 so these are really nice very nice I love the packaging I love the product and the smell again it's a mint smell so really really nice and um, yeah I would definitely recommend it Another um, product here, I'll compare these two, the Soap and Glory to the Rosebud, and both of these you can find at Sephora. Um, I think other stores might carry this. I know like Urban Outfitters carries this um, as well, and other stores, maybe Bath and Body Works does as well. I'm not too sure, but I know Sephora does. Um, anyway, this is the A Great Kisser, and I have both of the Soap and Glory ones. It comes in a peach, and the peppermint one was during the holiday, which I like. I know. I know. You guys are probably tired. Yes, we know, Melissa. You like peppermint. I do. I would recommend this for sure. The Rosebud, this happens to be the Rose and Mandarin Lip Balm, and this smells really good. Um... You can use this for everything. You can use this on um, any dry patches, on your cuticles, your hands, anywhere. Um, so, and the price point of this is really nice. I think this is maybe $6 and this one's like 9 or something like that. Out of these two, it's really hard. Um, I would definitely go with Soap and Glory. But because this is so inexpensive and multi-use, you might want to go with this one. So really your preference I suppose okay and then one from the drugstore is a chapstick this is alright um, I will no I'm lying I don't like chapstick I don't think that it moisturizes and um, I don't like it but this one it smells really nice and I like it for that and that it has two different ones 
but I really don't think that, like I said, that these really moisturize. If you want something drugstore really inexpensive, same price point, I would definitely recommend the Carmex in Lime. Okay, and then the Josie Maron, and this is the Aragon Lip Treatment. It's really cute packaging and really nice it's uh, white and once you put this on your lips it's moisturizing and it gives your lips because of the argon oil a gloss and just I mean it's clear so what am I showing you nothing um, but you have to be careful because if you are heavy-handed with this because the product is white it does um, come off your lips a little of that um, kind of milky white on your lips but if you don't mind that look and you don't wear um, lipsticks or anything you want to use that instead of it that would be really nice um, this is from Sephora and it's the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm for Lips um, and a lot of people like this it's a hundred percent natural if that matters to you you might like it um, it doesn't really matter to me, and it is just really, um, it's thick, but it's sticky. And what is interesting is some people have compared this to the Bite, um, what is this called? Agave Lip Mask, which I recently purchased. And I can tell you I am obsessed with the Bite one. Um, I didn't buy it because somebody had told me that it's a lot like the Dr. Lip. And because I didn't like the Dr. Lip, I didn't want to get this one. And I was like, oh no, it's not any good. So I would definitely um, recommend Bite above this one. So, and this is such, it smells really good. It moisturizes your lips. It just smooths them out. It's so, so nice. And I use this throughout the day, at night, in the morning. I mean, just whenever I don't have lipstick or even um, underneath my lipstick, especially if you're wearing a matte lipstick, these are really, really good. And especially the Bite one. This has to be one of my top five favorites. And I would definitely repurchase that as well. Another one is the... Lip Slip by Sarah Hap, and this I got at J. Crew, and I would definitely recommend it. Really nice, smells really good. Um, two of my favorites are the La Mer, which these are really expensive and more luxurious items, but if you can splurge, definitely get it. The other one is the Terry Bomb de Rose. Um, I just Honestly, I'm obsessed with these two, and I can do a whole video just on these two because I love them that much. Um, another really nice one that is one of my favorites is a Cream de Rose from Christian Dior. And people compare that to the Terry. I don't think so. I think that they're completely different, but they are really nice, and I do like them. Product from Dior that I would pass is the Dior Lip Glow. Um, I just really don't think this does anything for me specifically. So I know some people like it, but if it was between this one and the Creme de Rose, I would definitely go with that one. And then last but not least, I have the Hourglass Lip Oil, and this is really expensive too. Top favorites, and I the applicator is really nice, and this is more of a lip treatment and that's how I use this so I would recommend that and I got this at Sephora and yeah those were all of well not all but the ones that I wanted to share with you if you have any questions or comments please leave those in the bottom bar below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys